everyone. Long time no see. It's been donkey's years since I've last uploaded a video onto YouTube. Wow. But anyway, I just thought I'd share a new video with you because I've been actually making changes to Windows Vienna. I know it's been a long time, but I've, in the shadows, I've been making updates for Windows Vienna. So here's an old ISO before I really started doing any work. I started this month doing work on Vienna. And here's a Here's one as of today. I've managed to shrink the file size down significantly. This ain't much bigger than a regular Vista Service Pack 2 ISO, while this one is a fair bit bigger. However, you should you should have seen the size of the first Windows Vienna ISO. Somehow they were like 4.6 gigabytes, as big as a Windows 8.1 ISO somehow. Which I don't know how they managed to get to that point, but they somehow did. I've managed to optimize this ISO very well. And it's also packing a lot more in terms of features and all that compared to the current ISO on archive.org which will be changed. So yeah, let's I think we better take a look at the ISO and see what we got. So let me just open up VMware workstation, make a new VM. Find the ISO, which is uh, yep, that one. Give it eight gigs of RAM. So give it four cores. And there we go. Right, so now that we've completely installed Windows Vienna, you may notice a few differences when looking at the desktop. As you can see, the background looks cleaner. I still have the old background in here for anyone who prefers the old background, which is this one. Also, there's a, there's a shortcut here called Install Applications. So if I click on that, so yeah, I've basically, what I've done here is that I have installed Visual Basic 2010 and I've decided to develop a program in Visual Basic which is just this, this simple program here which installs software if you if you want it and it also enables an OG Y boot screen here which I've modified but I'll get to that later so if you want to install 7-zip you can right here you can just click that and there you go 7-zip seven, seven is now installed and as you can tell by the very poorly decoded user account control sound, I have changed that as well because the user account control sound before I changed it was rubbish, it was terrible. I've also decided to put a Winamp in here as well. I don't know why, but I just thought that would be a nice addition. Anyway, let us carry on installing the rest of the software and then I'll get to the no GUI boot screen. Oh, and by the way, if, you, if any of you get this error, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just Winamp really. And um, it still works. Right, mp3 tag allows you to take audio files and add metadata and pictures. This is the software I use to create the sample music for Windows VM. And you've also got you got Rufus here as well. This VM is atrocious. You got Rufus 2.18 for Vista, which is the last official supported version. You've also got IMG Burn for creating ISOs and stuff if you want to. And we've also got Audacity as well. So for those of you who like Audacity, Audacity is now included with Vienna, so you can mess around with audio files, add effects to them and whatnot. So there we go. I prefer older versions of Audacity anyway. So yeah, here we go. Audacity and Windows Vienna and all these other programs bundled with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Enable No GUI Boot Screen. Just click OK and I'm going to restart the VM. And I'll just show you what that does. It replaces the standard loading bar, you know, the Windows Vista loading bar. It replaces it with this. So yeah, this is the new Windows Vienna startup screen, which I do really like actually. That that's it's it's it's, it's similar to the RTM Windows Vista one. That's that's what that's the sort of design I was going for, and I think it looks pretty nice. So yeah, as you can see, this is all the same. Another thing I've changed is the file copy delete animation colors as they match they match the new Vienna colors a lot better than the old ones do. The old the old colors had a more pinkish kind of theme to it. Well, this has got a more purple and blue similar to the background as you can see here. For some reason it's copying over the files extremely slowly. However, the speed is increasing thankfully. Another thing I've also included in this new build of Windows Vienna is that if you go to welcome center and select this here Windows Ultimate Extras you can click on this link and it should just take you to the archive.org download page of mine 
I've re very recently updated this zip file here to the current version I have on the desktop and I've made many changes to that especially how it installs here is a brand new Ultimate Extras that's already up so they're not beta 2 anymore they're the final release and I'll just go ahead and install them now just to show you what they're like so here's a setup application that I've developed in Microsoft Visual Studio I tried to make it look a little like the installer you know let me just compare that side by side you know this Yep, there we go. I just thought I would, uh, you know, make it look fairly similar to that. So yeah, I've also, here's an about text document here, just to show you what's included. It opens a notepad document. And there's also an install button here, which installs all the Ultimate Extras. So I'm just going to click that. And click continue. And it just goes ahead and installs everything. And there we go, everything has been installed. Here we have all the gadgets, like all the Ultimate Extras gadgets and stuff. So now you'll notice that all this stuff here has appeared on the desktop. So this is a Dream Scene Activator. What you do is you just run this as administrator and click on. And there we go. And now we just run this batch file here, which changes the icon. Yep, I ran I run that as admin, so it should successfully copy. There we go. And now after all that, simply just log off. And yes, I've also changed the log off and log on sounds as well. Yep, there we go. So now we've got dream scenes and all that. Here we have the dream scenes. Let me just play those real quick. Um, I already have. Well, I don't. I don't really need to go over these again. But yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. So yeah, he, these are the dream scenes, which are pretty nice in my opinion. Well, I'm the one who made them, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna say they're nice. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So I've also bundled a couple of new themes into Windows Vienna. As you can see here, this is the current Windows Vienna theme. And let me just show you these new themes that I've included. So. In the Ultimate Extras, I have included two new themes, as I've mentioned. And these themes are Windows Chartreuse, which is this right here. A nice green theme for Vienna. Let me just apply that. So yeah, here's like a greenish theme for Vienna, which I think looks quite nice. So if I, if I apply a green wallpaper, so if you, if you like have a wallpaper that's mostly green, say like this one, I would say Windows the chartreuse theme goes pretty well with this sort of background and I'll show you the other theme as well which is Windows Maroon which is a kind of reddish kind of theme, a crimson kind of theme see let me just apply that real quick so yeah here's the, mar here's the maroon theme and if there's any reddish backgrounds for example yeah this look the red goes pretty well with with the background. So I thought I would include themes of different colours to help match the backgrounds and all that a little better. Which is quite nice. And I've also, um, yeah, actually no, never mind. So yeah, that's about it in terms of ultimate extras. Anything I haven't mentioned, you'll probably end up discovering anyway, so there we go. That's the Windows Vienna ultimate extras all updated. Here's just another example of the gadgets. Here we go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of me going over the Ultimate Extras, new built-in programs to Windows Vienna and all that. You know, the new the new startup screen. I hope you guys like those features. I, I still have yet to upload the Windows Vienna ISO. However, as soon as this video ends, I'll probably get to doing that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And yeah, I've also changed the startup, well, just shut down sound.